Hey, what are you doing all the way over there? No, I'm cool. <laughs> You're not coming over here? No, I'm good. We walk, roll up, Ooh. and you can't tell. Let me put my foot next to it. But this beetle's like, uh. it's gigantic. I don't know what kind of beetle that is. It has the, the horns, right? Yeah, I got it's the horns. It's a rhino, it's a rhino be or what do you call it? Uh. Man, come pick it up. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs>
A lot of people spoke English in this city, actually, and it was super nice. Helped us a lot. But really nice weight room here in uh, Pereira. I can't, I can't not smile over here. Everett headed out to court 11 for his singles match. He's on Campo Numero 11. So here was my first match of Pereira round one qualifying. I played a guy that was really big server, David versus Goliath type match, but I ended up taking the win 6-3, 3-6, 10-8, and a super tight uh, third set tiebreaker. So here is my second match, round two qualifying. I played a kid from Brazil. I actually got to know a lot of his friends from their academy. But uh, I ended up winning this match 6-3, 6-3. You getting ready for your second round match? Yes, sir. I mean, your your first round quali match in Perea. Yep. Give us your thoughts on Perea. Um, it's a really beautiful place. Lots of mountains. Um, scenery is amazing. I think it's a lot better than the other two places we went to. Why? Uh, just because like our uh, Airbnb is really nice, and we actually have like a ton of fans in the room, so. It's cool for once. Yeah, you yeah. got cold last night. You turned yeah, the fan off. Yeah, finally got cold, and I never thought that would be an issue. So, yeah. What? It, so, what do you like about the club? Um, well, I guess the staff is really nice. Um, the whole place is just super nice. It's like super fancy. It's kind of like what you would see in America. So. so. Yeah. Is it? Do you like being able to walk here, or do you, do you prefer us having to Uber every day? Um. I don't really mind walking here, but uh, I guess it's like kind of hilly, so it's <laughs> tough to yeah, it's kind of tough to walk. So what do you? What are your thoughts on the differences of here versus the other locations? This has uh, got a lot more courts, a lot nicer. Well, the last club was nice, but it didn't have any courts, so it was hard to like warm up and stuff. Right. But yeah, it's super nice. So what do you think about the Airbnb? Airbnb is nice too. It's wide open. Wide open. Yeah, yeah. It's one big room. Yeah. We're in Perea and we found a legit grocery store. So thankful to get everything you need here. All the groceries. So just to give you an example, we got a whole cart full of food. We'll show you in a second what all's in it. Total was about $55. So we're at a super nice restaurant. And by the way, this beer right here is a local beer. You can see it was 22,000 or 2,200 pesos, which is something like 50 cents. Um, Mahan, how nice would you say this restaurant is? Um, it's pretty nice. The last time we came here, the food was pretty good, so. And the entree, what the entree you ordered, how much was it? Um, it's around 40,000 pesos. So, so like 10 bucks. 10 bucks, yeah. Yeah, and this is like a nice sit down in America. You're walking out 40, 50 dollars a person. And then what about these cherry lemonades? Cherry lemonades, really good, really fresh. Yeah, super fresh, and those were like the $2.50. The stuff here is just such a good price, and you can see they got a nice area outside. And the food shows up just in time. Wow, look at it. Man, what is that? Like, looks like a dessert on the left. I have no food. I ain't got, so ever got like a veal steak. For yeah, for you two. <laughs> oh yeah, looks good. Spaghetti. We ain't got spaghetti. What's that in the spaghetti? Oh, <laughs> Gracias. Oh, 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 oh. So, man, tell us what you're eating now. <laughs> um, churros with chocolate. Churros with chocolate. Is it good? It's really good. It's the second time you've got it since we've come to this restaurant, so you must like it. So you can see when the check comes, it says it's 148,000 pesos, which is about $35 for all that stuff. And you can see they bring it out to the table to pay. It's our last night in Colombia, making our last walk from the club back to the Airbnb. Had a good trip.
what time is it? 4.30, I think. 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. Where are we? The Pereira Airport. Yeah. You can see the airport's nice. And right outside is our plane ready for us. We made it a little early though. How you feeling this morning, Mahan? Tired. Tired? I can tell you I'm excited to go to America. What about you? I'm really excited to go to America. <laughs> Everett, you excited? So, so excited. What's your what you most excited about? Seeing my mom. Good Chipotle. answer. Chipotle. Chipotle's number two. You sure Chipotle's not number one? No, it's definitely number two. Everett, show us real quick how you packed. Where you got your bag? Got the tennis rackets. rackets hanging out on it? Mahin, same thing. Yeah. That and a backpack and no more. Ever, where are we at? Uh, in the tunnel going to Panama. So we're in Bogota, about to board the plane to Panama. So we made it back, we're in America, we're in Denver, made it through immigration. Holy crap, stuff here's so freaking expensive. I forgot how expensive everything is. So Everett, what did you just see? See a Chick-fil-A. What? See a Chick-fil-A. A Chick-fil-A. Chick emotional. <laughs> there it is. I mean, we, we just spent on a Chick-fil-A meal for me and Everett what we would have spent for like three days in Colombia for three meals a day. It's crazy how expensive everything is. What you doing, Everett? Enjoying the moment. What is, what is that moment? A grilled chicken sandwich. A grilled chicken sandwich. Mahan, what you doing? I need some fries. Some good Fr quality From where? Fries. chick fil -A. Okay. Some real fries. Yeah. So y'all are happy. So we just got done eating. Everett, what did you order? I got three grilled chicken sandwiches. And did you eat them all? I did, I ate, a, I ate every bite. All three. Mahim, what'd you get? Grilled chicken nuggets. Grilled chicken nuggets, you With eat it fries. all? Yep, I ate it all. You feel good? Yeah. All right. Final flight of the day. Don't worry. We're in Denver. How you feeling? Feeling good. I think Mahim's back there. Let's see if I can get a view of him. He's back there somewhere. Final flight of the day. Started at 4 in the morning. Tulsa time, it's 9 o'clock. We'll get there about 11 o'clock Tulsa time. All right, Everett Mahan, where are we? Tulsa Airport. Tulsa. We made it to Tulsa. How many weeks were we in Columbia? Three. 
three weeks back in Tulsa. Happy to be home. Everett, what'd you th what did you think about the packing? Did you have enough just having the duffel bag and the backpack? Yeah, I think I was like overpacked a little bit too, probably. Yeah, I never went through anything. I think people think if they go for three weeks, they're gonna have to really have a lot of stuff. But since we had the washer and dryer and could wash often, it worked out, I think. Mahan, you agree? I agree, yeah. I also overpacked a lot, so. A lot of stuff you just yeah, didn't use? Worked out though. Yeah, yeah, yeah worked out. Why, these 